Okay, so let's get right into it. So add the part, make it smooth plastic. Then add a nice color, maybe uh, brownish. Make it a little bit brighter because normally uh, simulators are kind of bright, colorful, and that type of stuff. Rotate it, rotate it, rotate it. So you get this, um, I don't know, kind of shape. But there's eight corners. Um, and then what I like to normally do is change this size to, um, to until it finally hits each other. It doesn't hit each other just yet, so I will make it a little bit bigger. Maybe 6.1. That is a bit too far, so I think it's 6.05. Perfect. Okay, so try to get the exact same uh, size maybe. Okay, then scale it up. Uh, I used uh, I normally put my model move uh, value to 10 studs, so I can just make it perfectly line up. There we go. Now, uh, what I like to do is Ctrl V, so it gets on top of the other part, and then just do it like so. Make it a little bit bigger, and then rotate it again, like so, like so. And now just how we did it before, you just select all the parts again and then make it bigger again until it reaches all the points. So it's kind of too big right now. So what we do then is make it 6.95, like so. Okay, now there should be no gaps in between them. Let's see, just a little, just a little bit. No one will notice that, so that's okay. Then make this kind of crash is. Dog polygrass, that looks pretty cool. Okay, I, I like to make it a little bit thicker then. So let's just make it one higher, like so. That actually looks pretty well, not gonna lie. So uh, now that you, you have created your first, um, basically, wall, let's make the base plate smooth plastic and make it the same color as you did with um, yeah, the grass color of your. Uh, top of your mountain there we go make it a little bit bigger so you it can actually look like a wall and then just paste them around around your base plate like i do right now kind of make a circle is um, so it doesn't really feel like a square uh, you can have a weird shape you can have a uh, round shape you can have a square shape, that is just up to you. I just normally like to make a small circle-ish with a um, kind of gap over here so you can create more worlds. Um, the gaps between them won't matter yet because I have an idea how to fix that. What I also like to do is put some in between them, like so. And then uh, maybe over here and then two more over here, for example. Because what we will do is say I make this skill smaller, smaller smaller and then this even more smaller you will get this mountain effect that actually looks pretty cool so let's do that real quick okay now say you get this these gaps you will just move them around again so you can fill up those gaps so it actually feels like a mountain and then just fill up those gaps with the smaller mountains that looks pretty cool and then Behind this, you can create a big mountain, for example, like so, to fill up those gaps. So I will finish this up, and um, yeah, I will show you what I came up with. Okay, so now when you do have these type of gaps between them, um, I do recommend just uh, like fixing it with just those small uh, islands like this. Um, so yeah, you can do this pretty quickly actually. As you can see right now, I kind of finished a whole around center for the simulator um, map in like a few minutes. So it's pretty easy to do and um, yeah, you will learn it in uh, no time. So let's actually add in a rig. So let's see how big the map is. Okay, so the map is big, uh, quite big as you can see. But that's good for a simulator because uh, uh, especially in the starting um, starting lobby basically it always needs to be quite big so, because you, your eggs will be there in the center the leaderboards and that kind of stuff so it's almost finished that looks pretty cool uh, let's also finish this one up over here 
with just a bigger one like so. Uh, this can be filled up as well, like so, and like so, and like so. Now, what you can also do is because you have bigger parts, for example, over here, but you want them to be like so, for example. So say you want a bigger base plate, but you want it to be smaller than the um, basically the smaller base plate, then you can all, of course hide it on the ground. But uh, yeah, I just like it this way. So yeah, that looks pretty cool already. Uh, now we can create uh, a stone pad, for example. Uh, so let's first make a gate because maybe that will fill up the gap so um, you can do it in a few ways actually so let's say uh, let's add uh, two gates maybe one for the left one to the right just to show what you can do for example you can do this and then this will be for uh, for the left side so for the uh, let's say for the left lava land or maybe the desert or anything you can basically imagine um, and then you can make this part uh, smaller so you can actually make a island going around here um, then uh, this gate can be for example red because you can didn't purchase it yet so 1.7 or 1.3 to really show you that it is a gate that you can't write, can't really get best. So let's do this and then let's copy and paste it over here. So now it's actually closed. Um, let's make a path. A uh, path is quite easy to make. You just do this, smooth plastic. Also what I also like to do is because the island is quite big, because I didn't really compare it against a dummy for example, Select them all, scale it down, just like so. And now if I get in a building wig, it's more like it, but I want it even smaller, like so. Okay, now it's easier to make uh, uh, certain stuff. It of course depends on what simulator you're making. Um, so this is a simulator with boss. We will also make a simulator without walls so basically an island uh, but i will show you how to make that in a moment or maybe in the second video i think uh, so how to make um, like a path is uh, pretty easy so when you make your path like so this is of course just an idea of how to create a tile basically try to fill up those corners Maybe make this one smaller like so and no 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 wait keep that same size just make this like so and then just rotate this and there we go so this is quite an easy um tell but as you can see like if you rotate it a few and then Scale it down and up a bit, like so. Scale it up, scale this down. Move this over here, move this down. You can create a pretty cool uh, pet. So I'll show you guys what I came up with in a moment. Okay, now what I really recommend you doing is go to toolbox again, go to models and search low poly texture and then find this uh, texture there are there are three maybe four really good ones you can use this one this one this one this one um, i'm personally going to use this one um, how i am going to use that is basically i select all the green parts like so and then go to model and then union them then i select these te textures like so and basically add them into the part uh, now what i like to do is make this bigger so maybe 20 by 20. see that it's kind of the texture you can of course change this i would like to transparent this te texture a bit uh, maybe like 9 
9.5 yeah that looks pretty cool and touch offset what that you don't really have to do that basically but um yeah i recommend you doing this it will look much better i'll show you the finished result when i uh, add the texture to every part okay but honestly how good does this look look at that that looks sick already okay so now i am gonna add the trees now of course you can um add trees the way you want i normally like it when it's a bit crowded so there's a lot of trees around everywhere but it really depends on what you like and uh, what you can do uh, so yeah let me add it so yeah pretty easy just copy and paste your trees uh, around everywhere um, that's normally what i do just copy and paste them a few around everywhere normally big trees put them at the back so you can actually uh, make it a bit crowded so it doesn't look like it just ends over there um, so yeah I have three types of trees, so I'm trying to add them everywhere, somewhere, somewhere differently, like here, there, there. Oh, no, not laying ones. So yeah, let me finish this and then I'll show you what uh, I came up with. Okay, now what I recommend is uh, some trees make them smaller, some make them bigger, rotate them around. So it looks kind of original, it doesn't look like they just copy, they are copy paste and uh, yeah, just really try to make some smaller, some bigger. For example, in the back, I would recommend them just to make them a bit bigger so it looks really like a uh, forest, basically. Uh, but it, it is, uh, this, of course, it depends on what type of um, yeah simulator map you are making. Right now, I'm kind of making a forest, uh, but also a grassy style. So, um, yeah, let me finish this up and then I will show you uh, what I came up with. Now what you can do is also select some trees, only the leaves, and then create uh, change their colors so it looks a bit more original. So uh, what I just do, I select a random view around the map, just like so, look around, and then oh, okay, I select this one, oh, okay, this one, let's make this one a bit brighter, so it actually looks pretty original. Now that will look amazing, as you can see. Now don't be scared to try something different, uh, like add some grass everywhere. Just uh, add some environment, some colors. For example, with the mushrooms, you can really add some nice colors around, this, around everything. Make sure to size some things, like make some grass bigger than the other, make some mushrooms bigger than the others. Um, try to add multiple colors. So, um, for example, I did this one a little bit brighter than this one. And um, yeah, you can really create a beautiful environment, basically. Uh, now of course if you decorate this it will look much nice and uh, I'm not really a simulator builder so it won't look as nice as other simulator maps but yeah it's just to give you an um, idea of what you can create basically um, because uh, uh, yeah every everyone can create this so um, you just have to put a little bit time into it and uh, maybe look for, for example um, now I of course built pretty long uh, I've I've got quite some experience in Roblox Studio, so um, yeah, I'm just pretty quick at what I'm doing. But uh, you can do just the same, basically. Uh, it just takes a bit of practice, and then you can build a map like this in 30 minutes um, and make it look pretty good. Um, I personally don't um, know how to make a good simulator because I never created one, but. Um, yeah, please let me know if I do something wrong or if it doesn't look like a simulator map or um, if you have any recommendations. I'm really curious of what you guys will create. Um, I also will like putting these type of rocks around the, um, the lobby, may, uh, mostly at the, the main ground. So it actually looks pretty cool right now. And then just rotate them a bit to add just that grayish color so it doesn't look unnatural. Uh, now this is just personal uh, what I would do personal so uh, of course you don't have to do this but I really like this kind of style like so yeah that looks sick and then uh, say I uh, for example change the sun to uh, where is it at now it okay wait there's no sun okay never mind <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I will end the video right here and uh, let me know what you guys would, uh, would like to learn 
what type of environment or what type of game. So maybe you guys don't want to learn how to make a simulator with more, for example, a tycoon or a building. Let me know what you guys want to learn and um, I'll see you in the next video.